Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and More. I'm JoJo. Today I'm going to be reviewing a very special beer to me. This helped get me into the craft beer world. And I'm talking about Allagash White. And this is really a classic beer in the craft beer world. It is a Belgian style wheat beer, also known as a uh, wit beer, a Belgian wit beer. And it's beer with coriander and curacao orange peel. It's crafted by Allagash Brewing Company, of course, out of Portland, Maine. It says, independent brewer since 1995 from Maine with love. And it is packaged on February 22nd, 2021. On the side, it says, our take on this Belgian style is brewed with coriander and curacao orange peel, citrus forward, hazy, and refreshing. We brew all of our beer at a single brewery in Portland, Maine, just like we have since 1995. A little bit about the history. The brewery was founded in 1995 by Rod Todd in Portland, Maine. He observed that while a lot of German and British style beers were available throughout the United States and the craft beer world, Be Belgian style beers were not. They were difficult to find. He established a small 15 barrel brewery and began brewing a beer modeled after a Belgian wit beer named Allagash White. And the bottles at Allagash are bottle conditions. Uh, technique calls for two fermentations, the first in the fermenting tanks and, tanks and the second in the bottle itself. A process known as methode champonese. A cool ship is used to cool the wort for some of the beers. And before the beer is bottled, a small amount of yeast and sugar is added and a second fermentation occurs. It is the second fermentation which produces a notable increase in carbonation a softer feel and remarkable complexity. This method of bottle conditioning leaves a small amount of yeast in the bottle. So a little bit of uh, trivia for you guys right there. It's kind of interesting. By the way, this is 5.2% alcohol by volume and 13 IBUs. And it's available in a lot of different um, size bottles and cans. You can get a four pack, 16 ounce cans, 19.2 um, ounce can, I remember when I first tried Allagash White, they had the six pack. It was uniquely shaped bottles too, and they were 12 ounces, I believe. So for this, it's a Belgian, it's a wheat beer. So I have the kind of the wide glass right there. It's good because um, wheat beers, I think usually produce a large head. So it's kind of, this is good to have like a wide rim. So let's get right into the review here. It's going for the pour. I think I might've saw some smoke there. All right. Now with these um, wheat style beers, it's good to swirl the last little bit in the can. I don't know if it's like a one third kind of thing, you pour it in there, it kind of changes. You kind of rouse the yeast, it changes the color, changes the, you could say mouthfeel really, it changes the flavor as well. So it's very important to kind of rouse that yeast in, in Hefeweizens, and wheat beers in general, and Belgian white beers too. So it has kind of a classic little haze there, like a yellow lemon colored haze. Um, decent amount of bubble streaming up to the surface. A fluffy white head, I don't even think that's off white, it's just a fluffy white head, good head retention. A little over finger worth. Cannot really see through the glass, it's very hazy. Kind of murky too, may, might be a better way to describe it as well. Um, kind of a, like I said, a lemon color. Just going for the aroma. Classic bubblegum aroma that I feel like you get in a lot of the wheat beers. You get kind of that orange note, a lot of spices. A big difference between Hefeweizen's German wheat beers and Belgian wheat beers is that in Belgian wheat beers, you can actually add a lot of different spices. Um, Hefeweizen's you cannot. You can only have water, yeast, um, hops, um, Water, yeast, hops, barley malt, and wheat, I guess you could say. Uh, it smells really good, though. It smells a little sweet, kind of like I'm getting black pepper there. A lot of white bread, very yeasty. And maybe a little bit of banana. I feel like banana, you know, aromas you get more in the uh, Hefeweizens, but it smells very good. Without further ado, guys, salute. Very good. Spicy, lemony, some citrus. 
doughy white bread. Um, you also got the little bit of sweetness. Orange, kind of like a bubble gum type flavor as well. Class, I think that's from, again, the yeast, the unique yeast that's in Belgian uh, wit beers. Really good lacing, you can tell, around the glass there, if you can see that. Great summer drink, very sessionable. What do we say, 5.2%. Has coriander in it, um, which I still don't 100% know what it tastes, the coriander tastes like. I think it has like, uh, it's supposed to be like a little bit spicy kind of um, sort of thing. But this is very, very good. Um, and I get that orange peel that they're displaying on the can or advertising. Lemon um, finish. Finishes dry. Mouthfeel is on the low end of medium. Very, very, very refreshing. Uh, goes down very easy. Like I said, a great summer drink. This is such a classic beer. Um, I've heard guys say, I, I think on massive beer reviews, uh, and he's right, this is like a gateway beer into the craft beer world kind of was for me. I wasn't always in the craft beer. This is kind of one of the beers. The first beers I tried that wasn't like, you know, a light macro lager, like Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light. Even Budweiser, you know, this has a little bit more flavor than even a Budweiser. It's just, a, you know, different styles, obviously, but you know what I mean? It has just, like, a little bit more of a fuller beer. So check it out, guys. If you're, you know, you're unsure about getting into craft beer, maybe this is a good starter beer for you, Allagash White. Um, by the way, not really, just a touch of bitterness, not too much. For a score in the Belgian wit beer, it is... In my opinion, it's it's world class. Um, we we'll go ninety eight and ninety eight point five out of a hundred. It is just it for the style. It is one of the best, if not the best. You could argue Who Garden maybe, um, but just this is such a great beer, Belgian uh, wit beer. And please give it a, sh a shot if you guys haven't. Okay. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope everyone's having a good night. Until next time, salute.